This is Simple Touch. It's a fun little DIY synthesizer that runs on the Daisy Seed microcontroller. And although I can power it through USB, in this video I want to show you how easy it is to power it with a Eurorack power supply. Let's get to it. Important note before we start, in this video we learn how to power the DAISY through the Eurorack rails. This does not mean that we make our board compatible to CV inputs or any Eurorack modules input. You can't really send a signal from your mutable instruments module into your touch synthesizer if you're following the instructions in this video. What you can do is power the device. If you want to learn more about the, the maximum ratings, you want to consult this page on the Daisy Seed datasheet, which is linked below. If you need help making this fully Eurorack compatible, join our Discord server and ask there. There are plenty of people who can help you with that. And without further ado, let's get started with powering the Daisy through Eurorack. We can send the Daisy up to 17 volts on this pin right here. Eurorack power is 12 volts, so that's perfect. Eurorack power rails send 12 volts here, minus 12 volts here, and ground on all these pins. The simple touch board has a ground pad right here. So let's mount our Eurorack power socket exactly here. We can solder a wire from our daisy into the plus 12 volts on our Eurorack socket. You can now check that we don't have any shorts. You can follow this diagram to check all your connections. And that's pretty much it. You can now plug your Eurorack power cable in the back and play your simple touch stint inside of a Eurorack case. Enjoy! Don't forget to like and subscribe and check out our website if you want to grab one of these or other DIY kits. Synthuix Academy is a non-profit based out of Rotterdam in the Netherlands. And on the website you can find all sorts of kits, workshops, tutorials, physical workshops in different places around the world. And uh, of course, open source community projects uh, like this one that you're listening to now by Vlad Litvinenko, which is a sort of drone cord thing. Uh, but he also designed a draw machine, a looper and an arpeggiator. So go ahead and try them out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.